everyone. We're coming up on the end of our October wellness series. I wanted to give you guys about a week to prep and think about how you're going to go forward and finishing out the series. And this today we're going to talk about the November series. So our November fitness focus is going to be shoulders. And this idea was brought to me by Melanie Groves at Fairmont Fitness. Thank you, Melanie. Now, obviously, shoulder exercises is not something you could probably do every day. So I'm going to recommend two to three times a week for that. If you take a class at Fairmont Fitness, all of the instructors do a total body workout and you could totally count that as a shoulders workout. Shoulders are actually one of my favorite muscle groups to work. There just seems to be like a lot more variety of things that you can do in different areas that you can focus on. So be sure to have some fun with that. Our faith focus for November is going to be to memorize scripture. And I put Psalm 119, 11 for you to look up and it talks about hiding God's word in our hearts so that we might not sin against him. So, you know, a lot of us may choose to read God's word, but in reality, it reads us. So, you know, we have the responsibility of getting it into here. And then as we repetitively get it in our minds, you know, the Holy Spirit works to make it resonate within our hearts. Now, again, this may be something you can do every day. It may be something you only do once a week. I like to write, so writing scripture helps me memorize it. Sometimes I put it on a chalkboard or even on a note card. This might be something I only do once a week. It just depends on how strong your memory is, right? And you can pick a verse from anywhere that you want. So our food focus for the month of November is going to be on fermented foods. Fermented foods are excellent for gut health, and we are definitely already in um, full swing of cold and flus and virus season. So fermented foods, again, may not be something that you can eat every day other than if you're taking in maybe um, apple cider vinegar or yogurt. But for the most part, I want you to experiment a little bit with some different types of fermented foods. Now, as you'll see, I put bone broth on here. Now, bone broth is obviously not a fermented item. However, it is exceptional for gut health. Very, very good, especially for those of you that might um, be afflicted with leaky gut syndrome. So some of your examples here for fermented foods are things like kimchi and yogurt. Make sure when you're buying yogurt that you look and make sure that the item that you're buying or the brand that you're buying does have live cultures in it. You can also get things like sauerkraut and pickles. Now here's what I want to say about things like sauerkraut and kimchi. Once you heat it, you kill the bacteria, the good quality bacteria. So this is something that you're gonna to have to eat like right out of the refrigerator. I actually like to stir it in my salads or especially the kimchi, I like to put that with an egg in the morning. It's really good like that. Kombucha is a fermented drink. Um, miso or tempeh kind of falls in the lines of soy products. A lot of people like to, to eat those. You can, you can cook them and saute them as a substitute for meat. Kefir is a fermented probiotic drink. Um, a lot of people will use that in place of yogurt if they do things like smoothies and things like that. And then apple cider vinegar. This is Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I like to put about a tablespoon of this in water and drink it a couple times a week or even if I have indigestion or an upset stomach because it has the mother in it. So I hope you guys join me for the November wellness series. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm just kind of keeping track of my workouts on a piece of paper. I'm kind of old school and I just try to jot things down just to try to hold myself accountable to you all. So I hope you guys join me for November and finish out October soon and thanks, finish out October strong and thanks for tuning in.